Now, I'm going to kick things off by giving a big shout out to Beast of Two Worlds director and producer, well, not director, producer, Eniola Ajao, who's just crossed the 100 million Naira mark uh, after spending five days in the theaters for her new movie, which generated a lot of controversy. Now, if you remember, we had her on the show and we discussed the controversy, which was when she named crossdresser Idris Okuneye, that is Wabriski, as the best dressed female. Of course, without a doubt, that was unbelievable because Bobriski, by every standard, is a guy, you know. So she basically apologized and clearly Nigerians listened and they've gone out to see her movie. And just when we thought that, okay, everything is good and fine with Idris, he can go back to just being his very interesting self on social media, cross-dressing and embodying the beauty that is womanhood in his own way, as much as he can, things just go downhill from there. Now, Idris Okunaya, like I said, he has been arrested by the EFCC. And uh, he was arrested at his estate for currency mutilation and abuse of the Naira. Now, there's been a lot of conversations around this with people asking, okay, but we see a lot of this happening. Well, not necessarily. We might see a lot of it happening, but what a lot of Nigerians may not know is that it is actually illegal to spray the Naira in the way. Let's take a look at that. Rob Risky was seen spraying, not just spraying, but spraying, stepping on. If I'm not mistaken, that is Shegun, the very, very <laughs> popular um singer who knows how to get people dancing on stage let's take a look at that video briefly before we get back to this conversation <laughs> this in context for those people wondering about what did Bob Risky do now everybody sprays money what's the big deal let me inform you that section 21 subsection 3 of the CBN Act as amended stipulates that spraying of dancing or matching on the Naira do you see Bob Risky spraying money yes do you see Bob Risky dancing and stepping on the Naira or any notes issued by the CBN yes we do during social occasions or otherwise shall constitute an abuse and defacing of the Naira or whatever note and shall be punishable under the law by fines or imprisonment, right? So it is actually illegal what Bob Risky was doing. So in case you never knew that before, you know, you've never heard about this before, you're wondering what's the big deal. We all go out and we spray people money. Well, if you want to do that, just make sure that there's no camera around you because if there is a camera and you both face put that on social media you will be visited by the law enforcement agencies and that is exactly what um, that's exactly what we're looking at it's basically your civic responsibility or your civic duty to protect the naira so you know a lot of people you know have different ways of expressing this love for you know celebrations some of them by spraying some of them by squeezing or defacing in whatever kind it is not it is a form of abuse basically spraying or anything in fact at some point in, in february 2023 the cbn put out a post on twitter where they said that abusing the naira has different facets spraying is abusing the naira selling is abusing the naira money bouquets which we love to do <laughs> you know that thing where you have a flower and then there's money inside but then you have to squeeze the naira and then put some glue on it or whatever it is that they do that's defacing the naira as well so that is exactly why bob risky uh was arrested but hey let's take a look at some of your reactions to this understanding that you know the efcc is well within their rights to do this you know nigerian police force FIRS, EFCC, NFIU, you know, these agencies can actually, you know, go on to begin to prosecute abusers of the Naira, as we've seen in this case where EFCC is taking on the case. Now, this is EFCC's uh, recent tweet, basically saying that they're grilling Bob Risky for Naira abuse, and they basically stipulated that they invited the 31-year-old following a video report who knows, maybe someone sent that video. We'll talk about that side later. 
Following a video report of spraying and flaunting words of new aeronauts at the premiere of a movie, the same movie that landed Enela Ajao in Wahala. You see, that's why I had to start out with <laughs> that little highlight because this movie has done a lot for Bobriski. It, you see, Bobriski won one million naira for winning Best Dressed Female. I hope that he's able to, you know, enjoy the money because now spray that his one million has landed him in AFCC. This, this movie, eh, we really need to go check it out. It's been quite the one. Anyway, this is basically an event that happened in film one, Circle Mall, Lekki, Lagos. The investigation also revealed that he also committed the alleged offense at some other event centers and parties at different times. Following the invitation by the commission, he arrived and volunteered, you know, his statements, and he will soon be charged to court upon conclusion of investigation. So we've established the fact that there is there's an actual law against this. <laughs> you know, you don't do that. The fact that it's not come to you, does not mean that you should do it because now fans are asking the question uh -uh. you know it's we we have a weird way of doing things in nigeria because of the system we're used to a system of cherry picking where because it happens to one person we begin saying things like oh but every other person does it now why is he only bob risky well i mean it, it does that change the fact that it is not wrong the fact that it hasn't happened to mr a but it's happening to mr b the point is it is wrong so if you can avoid a situation that will land you in efcc's coffers Avoid it. Let's take a look at the next reaction to this uh, situation. This tweet says, if they put Bob Risky amongst male inmates, I don't trust Bob Risky. If they put Bob inside female, <laughs> if they put Bob Risky inside female cell, I still don't trust Bob Risky. Wala tiwa. This wala is because Bob Risky has refused to tell us who, he, who, who, who Idris Okunaye is. Who is Idris Okunaye? Who exactly are you? Pick a hustle. Pick a struggle. Where do you want to be? You know? Where do you want to be? Well, I would say this for a fact. Obviously, Bob Risky comes to tell us, ho-ha, that this is where we stand. Bob Risky will be Idris Okunaya, ladies and gentlemen. So we don't know what this, you know, this is a very similar incident that took place in the U.S. as well. Because when you have transgender or queer um, people who have been, you know, sentenced to prison time, they send them to the prison based on their gender at birth not the gender that they've acquired. So there's cases where you have inmates saying that they would like to be put in the female cell, whereas they were born male, but the, it doesn't work that way. They send them to the male cells, and it's, been, it's, it's a long-standing conversation within the United States jurisdiction on transgender inmates. You know? So it's yet to be seen. I trust Nigeria to send Bobriski to the male you know, prison, if at all it gets to that point. But let's take a look at another reaction to this story. Don't fall for it. They just want to distract you people from the outrageous <laughs> increase in electricity tariffs. I, I doubt it's possible to be distracted, I or FBI. It's, it's very hard to be distracted by that. One thing I do know for sure is Nigerians know how to amuse themselves, and this is just another way of doing that, I think that's about it on the tweets we have on this conversation. Let's move on to discuss the biggest stories right now in the world of music. <laughs>